Wow. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another session with me. You're welcome to Master Builders Online Academy. If you are new in this channel, do consider subscribing to this channel and ensure you turn on the post notification bell so you wouldn't miss out of our mind blowing content. Guys, in this video, we have a very good question to attend to in strength of materials. Now, this is the question. A tensile load of 50 kN is applied axially on a bar of diameter 10 cm. What is the tensile stress on a section perpendicular to the axis of the bar? So guys, we have a bar that is loaded axially with a tensile load of 50 kN. All right, a tensile load of 15 kN. And now we can liken the bar to be something like this. Something like this. Okay. Something like this. All right. So this is the diameter that is 10 cm. Now we have tensile forces. Tensile forces of 50 kN. Here we have 50 kN. So the question is, if this bar, then this is the bar. Okay, this is the bar. So now the question is, if this bar is subjected to this force, having a diameter of this, what will be the stress induced on this session? Are you there? So it is very, very simple. All we need to do as usual, being that this question is a word problem, is to state the given parameters and then trace the equation that connect the known parameters and the unknown. It's as simple as ABC. So guys, let's dive into this. Given that, given that, tensile force, so we'll be using P as our tensile force, and this is given as 50 kilo newton. And guys, you need to understand that we don't solve it kilo, so we extend this by having this as 50 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Don't forget that kilo means 10 raised to the power of 3. Then another thing that we were given here is the diameter. So the diameter we are using D, and that is 10 cm. Mind you, most of the time, we don't solve with cm. So how do we get to convert a value in cm to a value in meter? Guys, this is very simple. Just divide the given value by 100. So we have this divided by 100, and this would have given us... 0, 0 0.1 meters. So we now have the diameter. Then what about the tensile stress? The tensile stress is given as this. So this is the tensile stress and this is unknown. So guys, so the next thing we are quickly going to do now guys is to look for an equation that connects these three parameters that were given. And of course we know that Tensile stress, recall, recall that tensile stress is given as tensile for tensile force or tensile load over the cross sectional area. Cross sectional area okay so by extension so by extension the tensile stress is given as p over area now we can call this equation one now from this our equation one when we check this model of course we know that area of a cycle contains diameter so we can simply make use of the area of a cycle so that we calculate for this unknown area so we have area area is equal to pi d squared pi d squared over 4 and this would have given us pi over 4 multiplied by 0 0.1 meter squared and now guys if we divide pi by 4 and then multiply the outcome by this square of 0 0.1 the area x 0 
0.785 meter squared. So this is the area. Now we know the area to be 0 0.00785 and the tensile load is given as 50 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 newton. Then we can now obtain the tensile stress using equation 1. It's as simple as this, guys. So you understand that these problems are very, very easy to solve. So using equation 1, we have that our load is 50 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 newton. All over the area is 0 0.00785 meters. Are you there? So by extension, this is given as 50,000 newton all over 0 0.00785 meter squared. Now, guys, if we divide 50,000 by 0 0.00785, the tensile force, the tensile force won't be equal to 6.4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 6 new t per meter squared. So this is the answer. But we can extend this again as having this as 6.4 new t per millimeter squared or 6.4 mega pascal so whichever level you leave your answer you are very very correct but this is basically sweet for those who we have a question of this nature as objective question so you know that where you stop in your objective solvings depends on the options that you have so if your options are in new t per meter squared then you will stop at this first level if your options are in newton per millimeter square then you will extend it to the step number two then if your options are given in new t are given in mega pascal then this last option will have become your answer so guys you see how easy it is to solve a problem like this in strength of materials like i do always tell you guys strength of materials is not actually hard it's something very simple application of formulas and you are good to go so all you just need to do is to be able to interpret the question very well state the given parameters which include the known and the unknown and you will be able to trace the exact equation that connect the known parameters and the unknown parameters and by this you will be able to provide an answer to this question like we have done i hope you have learned massive lesson from this wonderful session if you are this wonderful session so if you are blessed and you have learned a lot from this channel please do consider subscribing to this channel if you have not done so and ensure you give us a thumbs up while you end watching this video don't forget to like share and make your necessary comment at the comment section Love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the very next class.